In this session we're going to be focusing on views and you'll notice at the bottom of the chart as soon as you've got your chart open at the bottom in the left hand side corner you've got what we refer to as views. Now within the views in order to set up a view look to your right hand side on your chart you'll notice the little plus button and if you um, click on your plus button you can enter a new name for a specific view that you want to save so if you already got something um, on we're not gonna we just need to still add some indicators so I'm just gonna heads up and cancel this for now so let's want let's do two th um, sets we're gonna be focusing on the MACD and stochastic as our indicators one is gonna be a fast moving MACD and, and, a, and a stochastic oscillator and then the other one's gonna be the normal uh, slow stochastic and MACD so how do we save those types of views so that I don't need to pull it up remember that's the main idea of the views if you're someone that like technical analysis a lot and you don't like pulling up those graphs the whole time then you can use the view functions to save certain views and then just by simply clicking on them you'll notice when we do the example you just click on them and it pops up with those values and it changes your graph automatically so let's do an example so one way to do that that is clicking on indicators uh, I'm gonna add the MACD first we're gonna leave the MACD as is um, we're not gonna change any values Let's just click on create uh, I'm gonna move this one to the top by clicking on the move button and then I go to indicators again this time I click on stochastic oscillator I'm gonna leave the values as is right now I want to save these views, the MACD and stochastic, the way it's currently at. So I'm going to call this my slow stochastic and MACD. So what do I do? I go to the right hand side corner where the plus button is. I click on that plus button. It now asks me where it says view name, enter a view name. So I'm going to call this the slow MACD and STOCC. Just remember the STOCC just stands for stochastic. Then you click on save. Now you'll notice at the bottom I've got slow MACD and stochastic. Now what I want to do is, is I want to change the values again. This time I'm going to change the values. Um, now you don't need to close down your indicator to change the values. You can simply click on the pencil to do that. So one way you can go, uh, go about now is to change these values so I'm going to use a fast MACD which would be a value of 3, 11 and then I've got 6 and I click on create so now you'll notice that um, my MACD is much more faster because I'm using shorter period of time it shows me much more oscillations so I've got much more frequent crossover patterns um, between the MACD line um, and the ra uh, red signal line and then on the stochastic oscillator I'm going to change this as well to a faster um, stochastic which is going to be a value of 14 days then I'm just going to click on create now once again you'll notice because we're using 14 days I'm using less data which means that when I do the when the calculation is done it shows me more oscillations okay so if I want to save this view because this is now a fast MACD and stochastic I simply click on the plus button again this time I'm going to call them the fast MACD and the STOCC right then I simply click on save now you'll notice at the bottom where it says views we've got our slow MACD and stochastic and our fast MACD and stochastic you can save a bunch of other views this is just simply one of the views that I'm using so I'm gonna close down these indicators now when you open up the chart this is probably the first thing you're gonna see is just your normal chart and then if you want to get up your indicators you don't have to go back to indicators add them and do go through the whole process you simply come to the bottom where you've already saved the view by clicking on the slow it adds the MACD and stochastic and this is the slow MACD if I want to fast the MACD I just click on fast and then it automatically changes so this is the neat thing about saving your views it saves you time with your technical analysis you don't always have to go into indicators add them again do the whole process um, or go through that whole process of adding those indicators the whole time it will already be safe so this is the way that you can use your views